To my astonishment, the factory used an optical sorter to inspect 34,000 individual grains of wheat every second. The machine removed this. Yes, because they are black. Once deemed up to scratch, the wheat passed through an astonishing collection of machines which milled it into semolina. Then a high-speed mixer blended it with water to create a pasta dough. But how on earth do you turn a great big lump of dough into long, thin strings of spaghetti? The answer lay with a machine called an extruder. And the results were quite extraordinary. Wow! Ooh, wow! This is spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. Tutti spaghetti. An extruder works by forcing material through a mold known as a die at high pressure. Here, in just one minute, it transformed more than 200 pounds of pasta dough into 52 miles of spaghetti. Can I touch? Absolutely. Don't worry, I'd wash my hands thoroughly. Way! It's constantly moving. Fantastic. 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 It's a waterfall. The pasta dough fell from a hopper above into a screw turning at 50 revolutions a minute. Using the same principle as an Archimedes screw, the screw created 1,400 PSI of pressure and forced the dough through an aluminium bronze die with Teflon inserts. This created 11,000 never-ending strands of spaghetti. In most extruders, the pressure is created using a screw, and it's doing that constantly. So there is always a flow of material going into that extruder, and there's not a break in the dough being fed into the system. So you're always getting pasta out at the other end. Within manufacturing, one of the objectives is to be able to make food continuously. So if you had a piston system, you'd have to load it, push it, load it again. So that, that wouldn't really be as continuous. With the screw, you can manufacture this product continuously for hours on end. Ah, OK. OK, this is your die, your mould. The dough gets pushed through here. For every hole, we'll take one spaghetti. The protein that comes from the flour is what gives the pasta its strength and its structure. And that means that it can withstand going through these dyes at very, very high pressure. If we didn't have this high protein flour, if we used a different kind of flour, then it would literally fall apart as we try to push it through the extruder. After the freshly made spaghetti exited the extruder, it was looped over rails and cut into 45-inch lengths. 